Hello everyone and welcome back to the Military and Monetary YouTube channel. It is yet again time for an unboxing video. We have a small box here. It looks like this. Not from Germany this time, actually from Sweden. Even though East German Militaria has risen in popularity in Sweden as well, it's not nearly as popular as it is in the US or the UK and so on, but every once in a while you do find some really great stuff. So what do you say? Let's open it. And here we have it. Some of you might have been a little bit confused when it comes to the thumbnail of this video. Hopefully that will become a little bit more clear soon as we're going to open this small little box. We have paper. There we go. Look at that. I'm just going to remove all the plastic bags. Now, what is this, you might ask, and that is a great question. And before I answer that question, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background history on these items. As most of you know, when the Berlin Wall fell, not everyone was happy. A lot of people missed, and still misses, their old country and felt the need to preserve the history and the traditions especially within the former East German army and the border troops and the Volksmarine, etc. And quite quickly people started forming organizations and societies aimed to preserve the traditions and the history. There are quite a few of those today and some of them are quite big actually. What they've done is that they have continued making medals, commemorative medals aimed at commemorating the foundation of the East German state, the East German army, the East German navy, specific battalions and even Stasi, the Ministerium für Staatssicherheit. And that is what we see in front of the camera. And what makes these medals so interesting is that they are not simply just novelty items that you can buy online. There are a lot of former high-ranking militaries and politicians in the boards of these societies or organizations, which gives them a sort of strange semi-official feeling. Of course, they are not official in any way. They are made after the fall of the Berlin Wall, but still. When these were made, you couldn't buy them. They were handed out to members of these organizations. But as with everything else, as the years passed, they ended up on the market. Ended up in Sweden, actually, with a guy not really knowing anything about them. So he sold them all to me. Well, let's take a closer look at them. Let's start with this one. It looks like this on the back. This medal commemorates the 60 year anniversary of the foundation of Stasi, the Ministerium für Staatssicherheit. The East German secret police, as people like to call them. You have the maroon color on the ribbon alongside the flag colors. 
It's quite a good looking medal. Keeping the peace, loyal service. Next up is this one. This one was made to commemorate the foundation of the 6th Panzer Division, Panzer Division. This one was awarded in 2006. Looks like this on the back, quite a long quote. You also have the armored troops pink color on the ribbon. Next up is this one. This one is also quite nice. From 2010, the 50 year anniversary of the foundation of the East German Navy. You have the Karl Marx Orden at the top there. Looks like this. I also have a maker mark here. Next up is this one. This is by far the best looking one, in my opinion. Looks like this on the back. The 50 year anniversary of the foundation of the East German Army, the NVR. Made in 2006. And we have the East German officer cap cockade on the front with a little bit of enamel, actually. Quite a nice medal. And last but not least, we have this one. From 2009, the 60 year anniversary of the foundation of the East German Republic. The by far most bad looking medal of them all to be honest not a really great design to be honest still very fascinating so we have ministerium für staatssicherheit panzerdivision volksmarine nationale volksarmee and the deutsche demokratische republik I'm not gonna talk too much about the organizations making these medals, but one have to remember that they are, so to speak, very nostalgic and very much prefer to remember only the good parts of East Germany. Either way, the medals are really nice and they have a form of alternative history feeling over them. Maybe they simply are the produce of people refusing to let go. You decide for yourself. Either way, really nice medals. And that, my dear friends, is all for now. Thanks a lot for watching, I really appreciate it. Click that subscribe button if you want to, I would really appreciate that too. Until next time, bye bye!